You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I'm on a game called One Up. It's a strategic game of mounting moves, but let me show you the rest of the box cover. Just thought that was neat, and uh, it is colorful in regards to the pieces that you're going to be moving around. So let me flip it around. It's for two to four players, ages eight plus. I'll just read you the back of the box information here, right, starting right there. It says, with the counter starting at number one, each player moves a bearing one space. When the counter is moved one up, each player moves their play pieces two spaces. As the number of moves escalates to ten, so does the challenge and excitement level of this skillful game. But with limited space to maneuver, can you keep up with one up? So line up four same color bearings to win. Uh, you get one wooden playing board, 16 metal spheres, one counter, and one set of instructions. So let's get in there. Now I uh, actually have played this, so the game is slightly played, but I have somewhat of an understanding of it. There's this nice little family games card in there, so if you want to read that, you know, pause and enlarge the video, go ahead, read it. And then... Um, there were three sets of instructions, and we're going to choose the English version. So let me get this out here and show you the game board. This is the surface we're going to be playing on. Let's get a top-down view of that, huh? How's that? All right, and then let's get our pieces out. It's going to be loud here. And here's our counter piece. All right, so that's our counter. That's moving up and this is moving up all the way across to 10 so we'll start at the one spot now they give you a suggested layout here so let me grab that so we will just do this layout and uh, follow what they say for now first time so you can at least understand the basic now normally you can just uh, have each person start putting their pieces down until the board is filled up that's part of the instructions so let me just go to the next level here. And then... And then this. Okay. There. Okay, so basic setup. So let's just read this here. So choose your... Let's see, okay, choose your bearing color and turn each player positions one of their bearings on the board until all 16 bearings are in place. No bearings may be placed in the four corner access corner. So there's the access corners. One, two, three, four. Same color bearings may not be positioned adjacent to each other, be it horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, unless there's no choice but to do so. See figure one for suggested placement. If two or three are playing, players position their bearings on the board before placing the remaining bearings in the remaining holes. Okay? Position the counter in hole one. Got it. And then um, gameplay. In turn, each player moves one bearing one space, either vertically or horizontally, any adjacent empty hole, including the four access corner squares. The player may move any bearing, be it their own, their opponents, or bearings not belong to any player. A player may not reverse the last move made. Once players have completed one move, the counter is moved, up, moved one up, a notch to number two. In turn, all players must now complete two moves, one bearing, two spaces, or two bearings, one space for each. Each player must complete the full number of moves for their turn unless they can win in fewer moves. Play continues with the counter being moved one up per round, and the number of moves the player makes increases per round. The first player to line up all four bearings of their chosen color vertically, horizontally, or diagonally, or arrange their bearings in all four access corner squares wins the game. How's that? Here's some other games they have. Sprocket IQ Collection Metal Puzzles. And here's uh, there's a black and white version of that so let's just see here so let's just say um, I am purple and you are red so we're each gonna make a move so red could move anything they want here and purple can move anything they want so now there's two moves to go so you can move your red your yellow and this person can move let's say they're trying to work this okay and now there's three moves this is where it's gonna start getting a little crazy here one because I'm trying to move my reds together two and three so purples let's see purple has three moves one two and then three and then you go to four see how this could get really crazy because a lot of times people are gonna counteract your moves 
So one, two, three, four. So now I'm getting close to lining up. So now purple gets four moves. One, two, three, four. See what we're both trying to do now? And now five moves. So they can counteract what I just did. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. So now purple moves. Let's just see. One. Look at that. Two, three, four, five. All right. So purple's going for a diagonal there. So now you go to six and you go on and on. Let's see. Let's just make a winner here. Let's leave that there and pretend that red is not paying attention. Four, five, six. I think that was six. It doesn't matter. So now purple's move. Purple needs to get this one over here, which is going to be hard. But two, we'll give it a shot. Three, four, five, six. Right? And then, uh, so let's just say we go to seven, but they've made all seven moves, and this is the position. So now one, two, three, four. There. Okay, that's one way, I guess, of winning. So there you go. That is a pretty interesting game called One Up. What do you think about this one? This one is uh, is easy, kind of fun. It's fast paced. And when you get to 10 and you're making a lot of moves, it gets a little confusing there, I guess. But otherwise, it's uh, an interesting game called One Up. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. If you like games, you know, check that description for a playlist or search our channel later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.